became interested in sugar around 2009. And the idea that these like beautiful little fragile things would be made and then decompose, that their own sort of self-destruction was like encoded in the material was really something that I thought was interesting as a metaphor for self-destruction in general. But at the same time, you know, like because it's made out of sugar, it has this like really beautiful ability to like when the light hits it, it just, you know, it starts to sparkle and things. So it has this sort of quasi mysticism about it as well, even though it's this like ubiquitous kind of almost gross material, you know, like when we're working with sugar, you just feel like you want to take a shower afterwards. <laughs> that. I think about painting more and more like objects, even though they are like kind of on the wall. I really think about them more like sculptures in a funny way. And I think about, especially with the sugar pieces that are going to be in the show, I literally think about them like three-dimensional drawings. Everything in the show is sort of built around this like idea, this like notion of, of the memorial. They're monuments to like a kind of great tragedy or, or something, but they're also these like exuberant sort of celebrations of life. In the same way that like flowers kind of operate in this sort of bipolar nature where like they're, I mean depending on like what floor of the hospital you're on, like flowers represent, you know, two very different extremes. Um, and that sort of, that kind of bipolar nature that they almost like by accident kind of have. There's something really inexplainable in that sentence that I think is the power of art. That's what art can do, is make you feel two extremes of emotion at the same time.